Our World Horse Welfare Head Office got a call to our UK hotline, welfare hotline, to the effect that there were a large number of horses in a field that were just underweight. That was all the information we got, just that they were underweight. I attended the, the location I'd been given and went to the field along with the owner of what the horses to discover that uh, 25 horses in the field. The field was about a 40 acre field with very, very little grass in it. The large poached areas with marsh land in it that uh, the horses were being forced into the marsh area to feed. That's the only place they could find food. When I went to the field, I examined the horses. I discovered one stillborn horse in the field that had been lying for possibly a couple of days. Another yearling was down and couldn't get back up. I had to call a vet for that and we had to have that yearling put down. The rest of the horses were poor to very poor condition and that was generally across the herd. There were many of the horses gave me concern, uh, particularly with their feet, you know, and just the general condition of them you know, were lice infected. The day after the examination of the field and the horses, I returned to the farm and spoke to the owner once again. This, she had been given time to assess the situation and what I told her, and I asked that uh, she sign the horses over to World Horse Welfare. The day before the pickup, um, along with the farm staff from World Horse Welfare Bellwade Farm, we organised the channelling of the horses. Our intention tomorrow morning is to try and herd them into the teat, herd them out of the gates, up round the corner and into the byre up there, and have the lorries reverse down between the two buildings and load them at the side of the buildings. It's easier to chase them on for the air than it would be uh, where it's open. This also gave the farm staff an opportunity to observe the horses in their environment that they've been living for some time and in the groups that they've been living in for some time and the dynamics of the group. Having three stallions in the group, uh, there were three separate families. Our intention was to try to herd them out of the field in their families and try to keep them in their families until, until such times as we could get them to World Horse Welfare Bellwade Farm. When the girls exa examined the field on uh, Thursday morning, they discovered a newborn foal. Uh, it just went to prove the indiscriminate breeding you know, throughout many years that, that this owners had uh, allowed to happen. The day before we picked the horses up, when we were there we smelt a strong smell of decaying flesh coming particularly from a, a kind of large barn. We went into the, the barn and discovered it was very difficult to count the amount of carcasses that were there, but at least 12 to 15 carcasses in varying positions underneath bales of hay. The smell was overpowering actually in, in the barn, and, um, uh, but to see horses that had the carcasses had never been disposed of humanely, it, it's quite, it's, it's, it's a horrible sight to see and I could see it confirmed uh, my reasons for signing the, the horses that were alive over. It just made me feel that uh, that was their fate in a very short time to come. On the morning of the loading, the, we formed a line at the back of the field and herded these semi-feral horses towards the gate. The farm staff had managed to get head collars on one or two of the horses, which help, helped us considerably because we were able to lead the horses out. But uh, generally, it was a herding process up into the holding area for the horses. These semi-feral horses had never been handled, I'm sure, for many, many years, if, if at all. So their herding instinct is to be safe, stay away from humans, and they did that. So we were able to herd them out of the, the field eventually. But it was all credit to the, the farm staff you know, for their professionalism in herding the, the horses out. Once the horses were in the holding pens, the, the transporters had arrived. We had organised a loading area between two buildings we were able to get the horses out very, fairly much in their families and into the, the transporters. 
When we did manage to have the horses loaded, they were then taken to World Horse Welfare, Belwade Farm at Aboyne, where as soon as they were unloaded, they would be examined by our vet, Ramsey Duncan. As they came in, the, the overall condition of the group was they, they were nearly all significantly underweight. And we condition score on a score of zero to five, where zero is emaciation, five is a gross obesity. Many of this group were ones, so they were very thin indeed, particularly the mares which had foals at foot. I didn't see the place they'd come from. I have to judge them as the receiving vet at Bellweed. My impression was, as a group, that they'd been severely neglected. They hadn't been fed properly. Their feet were in desperate need of trimming. Uh, many cracked hooves, many grossly overgrown hooves. I've mentioned already heavy lives burden, heavy worm burden. So neglect is my, my assessment of the group. Well, we're 10 days on now from when we picked the horses up and already in the background you can see that there's a, an improvement in the horses. They still don't look uh, anything like fit, but at least they're in that direction. Had these horses stayed where they were, without a doubt, many would have died in, that, in the last 10 days. So it's very satisfying to see that at least we, these horses have a life in front of them now, something they never had 10 days ago and the prospects are looking very good for them. In just a week, it's just been absolutely amazing what's happened to them. Just using their natural progression of giving them good quality grazing has made their lives just t change totally. All the horses that we've got um, will eventually be rehabilitated, trained, Probably most of them will actually become really quite useful riding horses. They will probably be here for around 18 months to two years. And then these will, will go out on loan, on our loan scheme. This case involved 24 horses. Uh, we already had 59 on the farm before they came. We estimate that it takes around £6,000 to rehabilitate a horse for one year. World Horse Welfare receives no government funding. We are totally reliant on public support to help us in our cause to help horses like these.